Arsenal fans, be excited. We've had Bakayo Saka, Jack Wilshere, Emil Smith-Rowe, but we now have a new rising star fresh out of the Hayland Academy. Superstar in the making, really, Ethan Nunwary. You know, I believe he's ready. That doesn't mean he's the finished article, but I think he's ready to be exposed to more first-team football. You would have seen against Preston, he continued his rich run of form where the EFL Cup is concerned, people. Still learning, but I believe he's ready. What a goal he scored against Preston is Bakayo Saka-esque and to be honest with you with the exception of Bakayo Saka who do you really see shooting from a distance like that within the Arsenal team as stated with that goal he's actually the youngest player to score in each of his first two Arsenal starts continuing where he left off against Bolton where he scored two in that game and obviously one against Preston so he's got three goals in two games and might have had a couple more on another day hit the bar against Preston I believe he's ready I think Arsenal fans, we have a star boy. I do believe we must relax. We must let him develop. But I cannot help but sympathise or empathise with fans who kind of complain about not seeing him on a more consistent basis. I get the excitement. I get the argument that he needs to be exposed to more minutes. After all, he is Arsenal's youngest ever player in any competition. He broke the record set by Cesc Fabregas. And we've been exposed to him on a more consistent basis basis this season but then obviously we've seen him against West Ham where you know it's like every player wanted to give him the ball we saw him make his debut against Brentford there's Bendit like Beckham I mean it's fast becoming Bendit like Ethan as I said apart from Bakayo Saka who is scoring that finish I believe his future is in that eight and a half role that 10 role or that deep line midfield role. But equally, I think he's an intelligent player that in the short and medium term, I'm no one to criticise Mikel Arteta, but I think he could be utilised if Saka isn't there on the right-hand side, potentially on the left people. We must be patient, but it feels like the stars are aligning for Ethan. And I believe he's in safe hands, both at Arsenal Football Club and also under Mikel Arteta. I know Mikel Arteta gets a lot of criticism about young players, um, but Martinelli, Joe Willock, Eddie Nketiah, Smith Rowe, Bakayo Saka, William Saliba, Martin Odegaard and a bunch of other players have developed and done quite well and become twice the player they previously were before Mikel Arteta. Post-game, Mikel Arteta actually said that once again, the, the, the onus is on Ethan. He's basically got the platform. It's now down to him. Is it fair to say he's the best Halen talent since Bakayo Saka and Jack Wilshere? He's definitely up there. I've even seen some on social media say he's better than Cesc Fabregas at the age of 16. Not too sure on that, people. But for someone who's eight, 17 years of age, 18 in March, it's the, the development is scary. You'd imagine the first port of call when this individual turns 18 is to commit him to a four or five year deal. And I must admit, there's a selfish reason beyond why I like him even more. He's a real North Londoner. He's actually from Enfield. So us North London people, we finally got a Haylander that's from North. Although although the fact that we're, we originally started in South, we obviously moved to North. Haylands technically in Walthamstow and East, so it doesn't really matter. But you get the point. You know, Ethan's played six times this season so far. 23 minutes in the league, been exposed really in the cup games. Um, you know, six appearances, three goals. I think he's made eight appearances for the club so far and, and rising. So, yeah, man, I wonder what, for me, Mikel Arteta is yet to see to throw him into Premier League action, um, if I'm honest. But the future is bright. And you also have to shout out Miles Lewis Skelly, who in his own right, you know, is doing his thing. You obviously saw a bunch of young players, you know, in the last two League Cup games make their debuts under Mikel Arteta. Shout out to Tommy Setford for getting the clean sheet and obviously Young Heaven. Obviously, in terms of the Preston game, in other words, it's taken over a year, but Gabriel Jesus is finally back amongst the goals. He scored his first Arsenal goal since January, which I'm happy for that. He also bigged up Ethan and, you know, spoke about his current form and how he's trying to get over injuries and dealing with criticism. And he also spoke about Ethan and compared him more or less to Phil Foden. I also would like to big up Kivio. I think he bossed it during the game. I think Kivio and Zinchenko and Mikel Moreno. I think everybody was good. I don't think Raheem Sterling was terrible, but I think he looked a lot better down the left-hand side. And, you know, it just felt like the footballing gods just didn't want Raheem Sterling to, to, to score. 
Um, on the topic of the League Cup, we play Crystal Palace in the next round where potentially we'll see old faces if Rob Holden will be in the squad, um, if Matt Turner will be in the squad. And of course, you'd imagine Eddie and Ketia is there. In case you've missed it, people, here's some other Arsenal-related news. Now, Gabriel Magalhães, our centre-half, who came off, you know, injured against Liverpool. Apparently, the good news is he was in contention to play on Wednesday night against Preston. Arsenal ultimately decided to rest the 26-year-old in a similar fashion to Benjamin White. Arsenal are hoping Martin Odegaard can finally return to the squad for next week's trip to Inter Milan. Due to an ankle injury, our captain and midfield maestro has missed missed 11 games so far. On the transfer front, people, Arsenal are considering a move for Juventus striker Duslan Vlahovic in January after failing to sign RB Leipzig Benjamin Sesko in the summer. Brighton midfielder Carlos Belemba allegedly, according to Alex Crook, is a long-standing target for Arsenal. Going back to his days at Lille, Brentford have slapped a 50 million asking price on Brian and Buemo, who is attracting attention from the likes of Arsenal, Liverpool, and Newcastle. Arsenal are allegedly working on a deal to sign Leroy Sane on a free transfer when his Bayern Munich contract expires next summer. Now, with that being said, people, don't forget to smash the like button, drop a comment. The journey to 70k subs continues. Appreciative to you lot tuned in again. Let me know your thoughts on Ethan. Let me know your thoughts on the transfer news. How do you feel about playing Crystal Palace? How do you feel about Arsenal moving forward in the Premier League, owing to the Liverpool game, etc, etc? Check out the other videos. Most importantly, stay safe, stay blessed. Peace.